the meeting back to order. Obviously, we had a technicality or a technical issue here. Zoom bombed, I guess what it's called. So we apologize for that. Uh, we're going to ask Nicole to do a brief statement for us that what will how we'll handle this in the future. Sure. For for the future meetings, we're going to prepare a statement that will say that in the event of a technical difficulty of any kind where we are unable to um, continue the meeting online, we will be continuing the meeting in person and that the best way to assure your um, way to public comment would be to attend the meeting in person. We don't anticipate any other issues, but just in case there are, um, we wanted to make that clear. I think for this evening, we are we have identified certain issues that were um, that we had that allowed for the disruption. Um, we are not permitting those particular individuals back in. If there's anybody out there that does wish to comment and would like to do so, we will certainly uh, attempt to let those people into the meeting. Um, however, we, we can't guarantee that at this time. Thank you. All right. With that, we were talking about the resolution bringing uh, Nicole and her firm in as our solicitor. We need a motion to adopt resolution 2024-001. Motion to adopt resolution 2024-001. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble. Yes. Commissioner Mento. Yes. Mayor Langria. Yes. Welcome aboard. Thank Welcome aboard. I think I was trying to thank was Mark Nemat for his work for the last yes, year. Yes, that's plus. what you were doing. Um, so he did a great job for us. Uh, we wish him well. Yeah. I had a conversation with him. I don't, I don't do things without letting people know that we're making a change. And sure. he was very appreciative of the, the chance we gave him here. And, and you know, uh, I told him if we needed backup or, or conflict, conflicting attorneys, we'd certainly sure. reach out. So great. Uh, he was very understanding. So, um, no, we don't need to appoint one. We can go out to one as we need that. Oh. I asked Tom that, and that was the recommendation. Mm -hmm. I think Nicole even agreed with that. So, okay. yep. Uh, all right. So moving on, this will be our workshop. Um, wanted to wish everyone a happy new year. This is our first meeting of the year. Uh, we look forward to 2024. Everybody safe, happy, and healthy. Um, a couple of things that I missed at our, our December meeting, uh, Jim Tui and his group on Troy Avenue huh. had a phenomenal event looked, right before Christmas. It looked like fun. Um, they set up a Christmas carol play on four neighbors' porches. And they had actors come in and portray different characters of the Christmas Carol. How about that? They had a snow machine at the end. They had lights, sound. <laughs> it was, it was fantastic. There had to be 150, 200 people there. Nice. Just mulling around the sidewalks and a little bit in the streets. But so we might have to do something with that. But I want to, I told Jim, I would, I would mention this and it was all on his own. Does it, him and his neighbors get together and hot chocolate <laughs> stuff for the kids. And nice. The Skoday and different, it was it was, it was so much fun. So I, I, I said, I need to make sure I know about this next year. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yes, we do. Uh, actually, Mr. Commissioner Mento mentioned our, the Water Fountain Group, the, the Ventnor Fountain Friends. Um, if you get a chance, go by there. Um, they have lit it up for its 100th birthday. Right. Um, uh, Dawn, Barb, and Dave and their crew have gone out there, assisted from Public Works, to decorate the fountain to celebrate its 100 years. It's 100 years, actually last year but we, we had it decorated right at the end of the year so there is an effort by that group the ventner fountain friends to refurbish that or replace it i should right. say it's gone past being refurbished uh they've been working on it you see them at all our city events they're raising funds to do that work um the city has partnered with them we will do everything outside the fountain right uh the pumps the electric and everything else around the sidewalks and what we have to do but uh, they're going to raise money to Renew that fountain. So it's a great effort. Yeah, it, they're at the 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 farmers market, and um, and I think they're getting a great groundswell of support. Yeah, slowly but surely. Yeah, they're at every event. They were at the um, I think they were at the parade. They were at the uh, the uh, arts festival that we mm -hmm. had the same weekend. So look look forward to seeing them around. Um, kudos also to Commissioner Creeble and his crew at the Bike and Rowing Club. Oh yeah. Did you want to talk about that at all? But I mean, fantastic sight. Um, so they partnered with Venner Square Theater to show The Boys in the Boat, right. which is a 1936 um, movie about a 1936 University of Washington crew team that ended up going to the Olympics. I don't right. want to ruin everything who haven't seen the movie yet, but um, did a fundraiser for the Viking Foundation. Right. Foundation, And our theater in Ventnor was the only theater in 
the Venner Square group, which is five theaters, that had the movie playing. So everybody came here to watch it. It was packed house. Dinner was was fantastic. Yeah. And it was a really great night to see yeah. that. To, to honor what crew started in South Jersey here with, with Doc yeah. Holland, Stan Bergman, and, and um, Bob Garbett and yeah. all those guys. I mean, you, you can talk about it better than I can. No, it was just a great no, night. You did, you, did a, you, you really recapped it. And I'll, I'll just add that, that um, I'll reinforce it. The, you know, schoolboy rowing, this is the heart of it. We had, when I was a kid, there was just us and spirit that we would pass in the bay and barely see each other because we were at different parts of the bay. But now when it's grown to our club, the Viking Rowing Club hosts mainland and other schools, we host colleges, yeah. we host, we, we try to have a regatta. We group together as masters and go every weekend to Philadelphia or sometimes float, get a boat up to Boston. So it's it's become because there's generations now yeah. of people that have rowed through high school that come back and give to the club. And and then but it was a great night for uh, just to recognize some of the some yeah. of the old leaders that we if you're if you were if you're rowing in this community, these are the men to thank Coach Bergman, Coach Garbett, uh, uh, uh and then some of the uh, Bill, uh, Bill Subin, Bill Subin yeah. and uh, and Ray D'Amico. And these Alan are the Stahl those guys. Alan Stahl. These are the guys that kind of spread out the the, the sport to make it um, something really special in the area. And then we all got to have uh, dinner, drinks, and watch the movie together. So yeah, it was, it was fun. a complete win. It's fun to watch some of the reactions of, of the coaches. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. watch it. So yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um. And then today, I don't know, about three o'clock, anybody notice all the jets buzzing around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we had our own personal air show here. So I was I, I want to call the <laughs> commander out there and thank him for you know all the, the F 16s buzzing around. Um all right, that's all I have for announcements. Um, no presentations tonight. We don't have any department head reports, no capital discussion just yet. Uh, the following items are scheduled for action at our meeting tonight. Commission meeting will go through them. Uh, and discuss them before we vote on them later in the meeting. So tonight we'll have three minutes, regular meetings, October 12th, 26th, and then November 9th. Um, I was not present for the 12th, and Commissioner Kreeble was not here for the November 9th meeting, so we'll, we'll adopt those minutes. We'll have uh, two ordinance introductions. Ordinance 2024-001 is the calendar year ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation and to establish a cap bank. It's one of the ones I was going to read from here. So from that resolution, the city of Ventnor uh, finds it advisable and necessary to increase the, the uh, current year 2023 budget up by 3.5% over the previous year's final appropriations in the interest of promoting the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens uh, determines that a 1% increase in the budget for said year amounting to $263,224.01 in excess of the increase Final appropriations otherwise permitted by the local government cap. We're going to take that into our, our cap bank. So it's something we do pretty much every year. I think everybody mm -hmm. else does it every year. So pile it up there. I wanted to read that because that's detail. It's important. I wanna, mm -hmm. it's important. All right. Um, so we introduce that ordinance. The second ordinance introduction will be 2024 002, which is Chapter 14 Vehicles and Traffic Part 2, uh, Article. Eight now, Article Thirteen meter schedules, mm -hmm. and again, I'm going to read right from this uh, our our staff action here. To be consistent with other beach block and south side locations, the ordinance needs to be modified. The beach block and Newport Avenue removed from the year round section. Uh, we enforce the other metered beach blocks: Suffolk, Somerset, uh, New Haven, as well as Marsden Place, seasonal only or in season only. So we're going to do the same we do on the other ones. Right. Just pull them out. So. Mm -hmm. Clean that up. So that's, that makes sense. I think I guess it was Chief that, that caught that in there. Yep. Good. good work by him. <laughs> then we're going to do 40 plus resolutions all by consent. We're going to do all these except number 17. Um, so the first one we have is resolution 2024 002. And that is uh, hiring or appointing Blaney, Donahue, and Weinberg as our Labor Relations Council, not to exceed $30,000. And that is part of our uh, consolidation of services with Nicole's firm. Any questions there? No. All right. Next resolution is 2023-003. And that is appointing Ford Scott and Associates as our auditor, not to exceed $64,000. And we're, we're continuing with them. They've been our auditor, I think, 
since we've been in office and even before. So they do a great job for great us. Job. Uh, questions there? We're good? Yep. Resolution uh, 2024-004 is uh, appointing our professional service contract for planning a grant consultant in Jim Rutella not to exceed $60,000. To note, most of those costs are covered by the grants that we receive. There are some that we pay for, but most of that goes through the grants. Yeah, successful. It's a it's it's a, it's a great deal. For yep. Us. Yep. Resolution twenty twenty four dash zero zero five is appointing Hank Robillard as general tax counsel, not to exceed one hundred thousand dollars. I will note that there was an increase in his hourly rate in that mm -hmm. at that time for this year. Um, I did discuss that with him, and and I thought it was a fair increase, and I think. Tom, you made sure these guys were good with that ahead of time. Yeah. It is. All right. I'm not sure that I would say they were okay with it, but <laughs> okay. well, we'll find out in the vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, any questions? Do you have any questions on that? Or no. No, I think we discussed it. I'm okay with it. Okay. Resolution 2024-006 is appointing Archer and Griner as bond counsel, not to exceed ten thousand dollars. You good there? Yes. Resolution 007, Joel Fleischman as uh, NJEIT Financing Bond Council, not to exceed $10,000. Good there. That's our environmental uh, funding that he assists us with. Uh, resolution 008, George R. Brown as appraiser for state tax court, not to exceed $5,000. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go through these. If there's yeah. questions, just bring them up. Yeah. 009 is continuing professional contract with human resources personnel consultant and Cynthia Cotton. She's been a godsend. I think where you, you and Beth found her. Yeah. Um, and, 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 or Lisa, is that where you, good? She was, she was a great find. Uh, resolution 010 is uh, appointing insurance agencies, Inc. Gene Syracuse at, as risk management consultant with our GIF. 011 is professional benefit consultants, health insurance, broker not to exceed $12,000. That's Terry Flynn's company. 012 is authorizing the tax assessor to handle appeals. 013, get to this one. Hold on one second. Is authorizing public employee bonds. And it's necessary for public officials to provide performance bonds for the faithful performance of their services all the years while employed for a municipality. And it's something we do. We do this every year. It's just something that, that some employees need to be bonded. Yep. We take care of that. No questions there. So 014 is professional services contract for police training to the Rogers Group LLC, not to exceed $18,301.37. It's a very specific yes, it is. number. Um, resolution 1015 is um, medical surveillance program for firefighters, police, public works. It's for physical exams for right. our, our staff. 1016 is executing an agreement with emergency training and consulting, not to exceed $2,200. We're good there. We're pulling 017 to get some more information on that. We'll get back to that. Our next meeting, 018 is Atlanta County Utilities Authority in the city of Ventnor to digital media consulting. Sarah does an excellent job for us. She's very reactive uh, to our needs and getting stuff out there quickly. Um, she does a great job for us. That's a good partnership and shared services. Clever. She, she is very professional, very yeah. very succinct. Any, you give her a small amount of direction, and she comes back and always exceeds <clears throat> yeah. your expectation. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys remember she was the girl dressed up in the recycling can. You remember I, that? I, I try to remind her of that. <laughs> she doesn't do it anymore. She got a, she got a promotion. Did you, you did that? that? I did it. I did oh, we got to bring. We need pictures. We need photographs of that. <laughs> no, she's really a great resource. Zero uh, one nine is uh, setting our twenty twenty four commissioner meeting schedule. Zero two zero is rules of order and conduct. So I want to. Just touch base on a couple of those. Oop. <clears throat> I think they're, they're they're standard. We've we've did them. We've done these the last couple of years, right? I seem to recall the rules of during these meetings. 
public interaction to just set some parameters in there. So, okay, all right, three minute rule, that kind of thing. Three minute rule. Um, they have to speak through the the mayor. It's, it's not back and forth. Yeah, like something like that. So we haven't had that issue lately. So. No, we haven't. All right, we're done there. We're done there. Zero two one is uh, official newspapers. Uh, we've got the AC Press, Vineland Daily Journal, Courier Post, Atlantic County Record, Hamilton News, Mainland Journal, and the New York, New York Star Ledger as the newspapers. Adopt a temporary budget. Amy, is there anything on here that we need to to go through? It's the yeah. amount of temporary appropriation amount of nine million eight hundred thousand seventy two dollars seven. $872,350.68. Nothing. That carries us through to? Uh, probably through March. March, March when we do the budget, yeah. yeah. And resolution 023 is self-examination of the 2024 municipal budget. That's something, again, we do every year. That's consistent. And we're allowed to do that because of the uh, one report we submit? Yes. Thank you. We can do that because of the one report we submit where we've met sort of the, various to do our our um that right self examination of our municipal budget. Yeah, it was we call the yeah. board of local finance. It's a cycle every three years. Yeah, for self examination. Yeah, uh, I was thinking about that one report where you have to answer: Do you do this? Do you do that? Do you you know? I think that's the one we have to do every three years. That it? qualifies us for this. No, the best practices checklist is not part of this. It's not okay. No, the, the state reviews everybody's budget on a three-year cycle, so for a couple of years. Oh, got it. As long as you qualify, yeah, uh, you do self-examination. You don't need their approval to adopt. The okay. Yeah. That's okay. Good clarification. Yeah. Um, zero two four is New Jersey or designating bank depositories. Um, do I need to read those into the record, or they're in the resolution? All right, they're in the resolution. 025 is reappointing class three member to the planning board. That's Commissioner Creeble. Yep, for the year of 2024. You want to take that penance again? <laughs> it's, uh, it's another two meetings a month. I enjoy it. It does. It look, we get to see what's ha what's happening in the city. And, yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's a really good board. Yeah. Uh next one is 026. Um, appointing the planning board for the year of 2024 and the new the members that are being re reappointed is myself as mayor, um, Tom Halpin, Wendy Bartlett, and Jessica Stilley. Wendy is alternate number three and Jessica is alternate number four. And Tom is our, uh, he's a full, full member. He's also our fire inspector, which is nice to have on the board. Mm. Um, 027. Uh, is appointing police custodian of records. We're appointing police chief Joe Fussner as that custodian. And comment. I don't okay. know if you saw my comment, Tom, but if this includes personnel records, you yeah. should also be on here as I was. It allows you to get access to personnel records because they're not stored in the clerk's office like other personnel records. In the prior resolution, I was on it with the chief. You're not. I'm saying you should be. No, it says city administrator. Oh, I didn't see. And the city administrator. Yeah, the Joe Fuster, police chief and city administrator. Chief and the city administrator. Sorry. I missed that. I should have read that too. I'm sorry. I didn't see that at all. Tom, add another job to your title. Why is it only? You what I saw with Joe Fuster. Oh, and the city administrator. Oh, gee. Okay. Never mind. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, you're just keeping me. <laughs> okay. So we're good there. Uh, zero two eight is. Appointing Lisa Han as public agency compliance officer. Is that okay, Lisa? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 029, charge interest on any uh, authorized tax collector to charge interest on any delinquent taxes uh, after the due date for the payment of the same and 10-day grace period. This is the grace period that we, we kind of grant each year. 030. Um, Authorizing the tax collector to process property and or sewer tax refund and cancellation of a refund or delinquency of less than $10. I think that's we do that every year as well. 031 is appointing uh, fund, was it the fund commissioner and alternate, Joe Ionizelli and Jim Pakanowski. 
Pardon me. Good drink. Resolution 032 is according to contact person, that'll be Lisa and Tom, two two people, correct? Correct. Thank you. Yes. Right. It's two people. It's Lisa and Tom for contact people for a joint insurance fund. That's again standard practice. 033 is appointing a GIF safety coordinator and Donna Peterson. 034 is appointing the Green Team Advisory Committee. I don't believe there's any changes in that, so I'm not going to read all those names. Uh, same with 035, which is the 2024 Municipal Alliance Committee. Same members. Uh, 036 is appointing members of the City of Ventnor Creative Team, uh, Ventnor Arts Alliance. Again, I don't think there's any changes there. They're in the res those names are in the resolution. 037, adopting a wellness policy uh, in the city of Ventnor. And again, to give kudos to somebody who does that for us and sorry in the finance department. She does great. She keeps us on her toes. Does a great job. And and keeps people interested with different things and and somewhat harasses you to port participate in yeah. some of these things. It's, <laughs> it's good. It's good. Sometimes I need reminders. That's right. Uh, do those sit-ups, right? Um 038 is adopting a cash management plan. Again, we do that every year for 2024. We're doing it again. 039 is authorizing disposal of surplus property. There's a bunch of equipment that is beyond its useful life to us, and we have to do it by resolution to uh, sell it at auction. And that list is also on the resolution. So dump, dump trucks. Dump trucks that Maria wants to buy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Two of them. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 040 <laughs> waiver of fees for the application of special events for city sponsored events instead of paying ourselves to host events. Yeah. Uh, Tim, are there any new ones on here? No, this is the, not, not to my knowledge. I think there's, it's all the same things marshmallow roasts and, uh, yeah. And even some of the nonprofits. There's one that we, yeah, it's like the skin heart of screening. Heart surfing. It's one that jumped out to me that we, that we participate in. Yeah. Vendor pickleball um, tournament, right? So that that kind of stuff, we waive those fees. Then we have two additional resolutions: surf rider that we're adding from the bench, and that's zero four one, which is uh, appointing NW Financial Group LLC as our continuing as our disclosure agent, not to exceed fifteen hundred dollars, and then uh, also appointing or zero four two is appointing NW Financial Group as municipal finance advisor of, of record not to exceed ten thousand so dollars we're good with all them yes yeah, that was a lot that was a lot good job sorry. <laughs> getting through it sorry it took so long but i think there's some of the things in there that i wanted to get some detail yeah that's no, good and do that then we'll have bills and payroll approvals any discussion items i didn't see any other than what none that i'm aware of okay anything from you guys to add no all right this is our first public portion we'll have a public portion on anything that we've discussed so far, that's on the agenda. I don't see anybody in the audience, so I'll go to Zoom. Jim, is there anybody raising their hand in our Zoom meeting? No, there's no one on Zoom. Okay. All right. So we'll close the public portion on that, and I'll need a motion to close the workshop and move into our regular meeting. Motion to close workshop and move into regular meetings. Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 I'll call to order our regular portion of our hearing. And we will look to adopt the minutes from our October 12th, 2023 regular meeting. Need a motion? Motion to approve minutes of October 12th, 2023. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble? Yes. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Langria? Abstain. I need a motion to adopt our October 26th regular meeting. Motion to approve October 26th minutes. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble? Yes. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Langria? Yes. Need a motion to adopt our November 9th regular meeting minutes. Motion to approve November 9th regular meeting minutes. Oh, wait a minute. You have to abstain. I, so I can't. We're in motion. Second. You need to make the motion. Oh, you need to make the motion. I second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble? Abstain. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Langria? Yes. Okay, the first ordinance introduction is ordinance 2024-001 is to exceed the municipal budget and create and establish a cap bank. Need a motion, please? Motion to approve ordinance 2024-001. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble? Yes. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Langria? Yes. 
Okay, I need a motion to adopt or, or introduce ordinance 2024-002. It's a parking ordinance to bring the beach block uh, meters into compliance with all the other areas. Yep. Motion to introduce ordinance 2024-002 as described. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble? Yes. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Landgraf? Yes. Okay, we're going to adopt these resolutions from 2024-002 through 0042, except 17. They get the right numbers? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Need a motion to adopt those by consent? Motion to adopt resolutions as described by consent. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Creeble? Yes. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Langria? Yes. Okay, we have bills and payroll. Amy, do you have those for us? Payables for this period, $375,415.36. Pay, uh, payrolls for this period, $582,899.71. Okay, I need a motion, please. Motion to approve bills and payroll as described. And I'll second, but I recuse myself from JPM 23-01084. Okay. Roll call, please. Commissioner Kriebel? Yes. Commissioner Mento? Yes. Mayor Langram? Yes. Announcements and safety report that's on the agenda. Uh, commissioner comments and reports. I kind of did mine at the beginning, so I don't really have too much more other than that. Uh, I will say the storm that's coming up this weekend, uh, it's going to be rain uh, down here. Uh, this one is not going to be the heavy hitter. Apparently Tuesday, we'll have the make sure Public Works is ready with, with our mm. cleaning out some things. It's going to be more of a heavier nor'easter. Winds, three inches of rain possible, so uh -huh. on the streets, we're going to have those issues again. So, um, just be aware of that coming up this weekend. We're going to get rain on Saturday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday is the bigger of the storm. Still rain. Right, but for us. Tidal issues because the moon's, I think it's a new moon. Yeah. So uh, that's all I have. You have anything? Yeah. Uh, I know our finance office and our um, tax offices are um, preparing for year end, doing all the things that come with that in the various entries. And then we had a um, tax sale, an online tax sale. On twelve twenty, and um, letters were sent out to those that in prior to remind them and let them know that they were going to go to tax sale. And um, there were fourteen accounts sold at the tax sale, and it generated about sixty five thousand. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Kreeble? I had a few, uh, just a few I'd like to share from the annual food details and. Numbers I'd like to share from the annual report from the fire department. I expect the police um, coming soon. I want to share them all, but I, I I apologize. But these kinds of this kind of data kind of is interesting to me. When you uh, so I'll just share some of the highlights. Um, response totals for 2023 our highest monthly totals were in June and July. No surprise there, mm -hmm. but it puts us at 284 and 316 respectively per month in those months, um, a total of uh, just about 3,000 for the year. So we float around 200, 250 per month responses. Um, and um, a 15-year comparison, and these are just the highlights. You guys could get a copy of this. If yeah, you yeah, want. So. Um, a 15-year comparison of our responses shows that we're average almost the entire time of 15 years about nine calls per day. So that's so it stayed the same. Yeah. Continue. Which is kind of interesting. I mean it goes it go it went up it went up during Sandy. It dropped a little, but we're we float from nine point eight, nine point two, nine point nine, nine point one, nine point two, those kinds of averages. Um so it stayed uh roughly the same. It don't and it looks like the categories have stayed roughly the same as well. Fire response, service response. EMS response and total response. So those percentages have stayed about the same as well. Uh, EMS is always the highest. Um, we live on near Ventnor Avenue. We know. Yeah, I, I know. We can you can hear them. You can, I turn on the radio if it's a, <laughs> any, or you can usually hear more than, than one truck. truck radio. Radio. <laughs> anyway, um, so members uh, also training uh, a tremendous amount of training. I think this is to 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 Chief Cahill's credit. Total of 2,900 hours of training in various things um, from uh, Homeland Security, Fire Academy courses, emergency medical technician course, recertification courses, um, and other just general safety courses. So that's a lot of hours of training. 
Um, uh, and there's a, there's a lot of good data in here it shows that our we got a pretty good distribution of age of the majority of our firefighters are between 30 and 39, um, and um, and that uh, a large percentage is the ambulance, the EMS. Uh, 23 percent is EMS of the entire package. So these are the kinds of things that we we know, and it's just good to know the complexion of the responses that our departments go through. Yeah. It's good. Good report. I, I read, skimmed through a little bit. I'll go in more detail. Yeah. Thanks for the, the high level stuff. That was good to hear. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't have anything else. We we have two major construction projects going on 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 Monmouth Avenue and over on Lafayette. They're continuing moving forward. Um, hopefully, it'll be done in the next thirty to forty five days. So, um, the water water line replacements. Yeah. Yeah, at the Viking event, they were thanking us for the quality of work and the, the, the apparently the that on Monmouth Avenue. They said that yep. a couple of people who live on that street said that the uh, you, you know contractors contractors doing uh, it's due the, diligence. Yeah, it's tough. Good contractors, Lafayette, the local company, Ferry the local company. Yeah, so they're all they and they do a lot of work on the island. So right. it's good, that's good to hear. I did hear a couple comments from right the there. Just it is nice to hear. Yeah, um, that's all I have. So we're good. Mm -hmm. um, we'll open it up to public comment. Uh, there's no one again here in the room. Jim, is there anybody that joined back into Zoom? No. Okay. So with no public comment, we'll close that portion. Uh, no executive session, and we're ready to adjourn. Anything else? Yep. All right. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye.